How to install and adjust your SoluCalc Installation The SoluCalc and the pressure regulator are installed right after the water meter if possible, which will allow to treat the entire installation. Follow the direction of the water flow. See arrow on the SoluCalc. Plug in the device. Install the pressure reducing valve on the CO2 bottle and connect the CO2 supply hose to the SoluCalc. Open the CO2 bottle. Settings. The SoluCalc settings are adjusted only once when the device is turned on. A pressure difference must be created between the CO2 and the water so that the CO2 can be injected into the water. This pressure difference must be 0.2 bar. Fully open the cold water tap in the kitchen. Do not touch the factory settings of the pressure regulator. Screw the adjustment knob of the pressure reducing valve up to 4 bar. Fully unscrew the adjustment knob of the pressure reducing valve. The needle will go down to the dynamic pressure of the water, 3 bars by default. Screw the adjustment knob of the pressure reducing valve so as to pass 0.2 bar above the dynamic pressure of the water. In this example, 3.2 bars. Checking the settings. It's possible to check the correct operation of the device by measuring the difference in pH before and after the SoluCalc. After the SoluCalc, the water must have a lower pH than the pH of the untreated water. This difference must be equal to 0.5. For example, if the city water has a pH of 7.5, the water treated with SoluCalc will have a pH of 7.0. If the difference is greater than 0.5, simply reduce the amount of CO2 injected. If the difference is less than 0.5, simply increase the amount of CO2 injected. The pH of your water must always be greater than 6.5. More info at solucalc.com